Okay, the next thing is, we'll just get to the end of this checklist and then we'll have a break for a while, but the next thing that you want to consider is the balance of nutrients, so what, what the feed has actually got in it um, and whether that feed will meet your horse's requirements when you feed it at the recommended feeding rate. So um, some feeds claim to be complete when in fact they're anything but. So they'll say, ah, oh, yes, it's a complete feed, but when you actually look at the nutrient levels, there's not nearly enough nutrient in that feed to actually meet the horse's requirements when that's the only thing that you're feeding on top of your forage. Um, my first rule with this thing is if the feed doesn't provide a full analysis, don't use it because if you don't have a full analysis, you don't, you've got no idea what you're actually feeding your horse. Um, and if this information isn't provided on the bag or brochure or on request, so sometimes feed companies don't put it on their bags or their brochures, but you'll ring them and they're more than happy to give it to you and that's fine. Um, but sometimes they'll go, no, we're not giving it to you. And it, it can be because they don't know. Um, and I've had this happen quite often as they go, well, we don't have one. And they don't even know what's in their feed. Um, so it's probably not a good idea to feed that one. Um, or because they don't want you to know. And if they don't want you to go, you've got to ask the question, well, why don't they want me to know? And I have had companies say, no, we don't want you to know because you'll copy our feed. And I'm so tempted to go, one, I probably don't want to copy your feed. And two, if I wanted to copy your feed, I'd just send it to a lab and get it analysed anyway. So you can't actually hide anything because it's all testable stuff. Um, so they should just give you the information. So the, the thing that's sitting down the side here is just um, taken off the, the Biomare cube of prides. Um, and, and thankfully in Australia, all of our major feed companies are really good at providing this information. So there's not... There's not Australia is actually... Um, with our FeedXL software, we've got a database of feed sitting in the in the background that you can use to put horses' diets together. Um, and our database in Australia is amazing because the feed companies provide really good information. Our database in the USA is terrible because the feed companies over there only give what legislation says they have to give on a label and everything else. They just go, well, you work it out yourself. Um, so there's all this missing data. And the UK is the same. They give very, very little data. So we're actually very fortunate in Australia that we do have good labelling. Um, and a feed should always meet a horse's requirements when fed at the recommended rate. So if you, if you put a feed into a horse's diet at the recommended rate, so any of the prize feeds, um, they will meet your horse's requirements when you feed them like that. But there's, there's a few feeds around still that they, they won't because they just don't contain enough nutrients. 